All right, so what we've got here today is a Toshiba 12S 2P lithium titanate battery. This is about 1.1 kilowatt hour. This is a used battery. I've already pulled the old BMS board off of it, which looks like it communicated to a larger board for controlling the battery itself. Um, it's actually got really handy terminals. You can just put normal ring terminals on the main positive and negative. And even the BMS was held on with just little screws that allow me to use ring terminals to hook my BMS up to it. No soldering required. So I went ahead and bought from DigiKey some ring terminals that are just the right size. And that's these guys here. I'll put a link to those. Manufacturer part number 41580. We're going to be connecting an Ant Bluetooth BMS today. So this is a 7S through 20S 300 amp configurable BMS. Um, I don't think I would actually use it at 300 amps. It's got four 12 gauge wires, but it worked beautifully for what we're doing. And I'm actually, this is a bit overpowered for what I need, but this is the most configurable with the right number of leads BMS that I've got. So it'll allow me to do this lithium titanate cell type. We have all of our wires here, what we're gonna use. Everything that's wrapped up is what we're not gonna use. We start with our negative on the main negative, just like any BMS. And you continue with each positive cell until you get to here. When you get here, you're actually gonna connect these two wires here to the same cell and then you will continue on. And then at the very end, you'll connect your main positive and this, this next to this one that's right next to the positive to the end. And we'll just go through this real quick in fast motion and then show you what it looks like at the end. So first I'm gonna go ahead and crimp um, my ring terminals on all of my wires and then that'll make it really easy to connect everything up to the BMS. start here this is our negative terminal this is our positive terminal so we're going to start with the negative and connect our BMS leads all the way around now it is advised to go ahead and connect your BMS negative you see here that you've got your battery negative here on the left with your blue and your burden and charge with your black on the right so I'm gonna go ahead and connect my blue one up to the battery I think ultimately I have the BMS sitting up top. Maybe the wire coming around like this. Now it's not really advised to connect everything up while your leads are plugged into the BMS in reality. So I'm gonna go ahead and unplug from the BMS. We'll get all the leads connected. And then we'll come back and verify that I got them where I wanted them with the voltmeter. All right, so I'm grabbing my black wire and the next thing I'm gonna do also, grab a little bit of protection. So I'm not dropping things on here. And the way that I'm doing this, as you can see, you can kind of see where the cell is right here. So there's a cell that has a terminal terminal and a terminal terminal. It's two cells here. And then you'll see that here it's bridging between the positive of this pair of cells to the negative of this pair. So you've got main negative here, which is also this little tab. And then you've got first positive. And then you will skip this because it's the same tab and come over to here, which will give you second positive. So that's what I'm going for next. It's important to understand how the battery's built before you just start go connecting things, because you need to understand it. You don't need to just follow the exact directions of someone. I think it's important to follow the directions of someone um, to avoid making a mistake. 
best thing to avoid making a mistake is for you to understand it and then follow directions. So if you understand how a battery goes together and what the BMS is trying to do by connecting to every single positive lead, then you can better accomplish the installation of a BMS and the safe operation of a battery. All right, so we're gonna come around the corner here. This was our positive, and this will be the next positive right here, which is this guy here. See now that we've made it to our double white wire and that's because we've reached the end of this string so we've got our wire here and we've got all the ones that we're not going to be using and we've got our first wire the next one so these wires are connected together and that's just how this BMS says to do it all right so we're going to come across to here of wires come back here and for me the next step is always going to be to probe these and make sure that the voltage climbs by about two volts for every lead before we connect it into the BMS just to make sure we didn't make a mistake two volts four six eight That one's the same as the last one that I read because they are in fact the same. All right, looks good. Now, plug this into the BMS. This BMS, in order to get it to start, these two pins on the very left, you apply like three to 12 volts to those pins and it'll start power on the BMS. So let's get that powered on and see what the interface looks like and get it configured. Okay, so you actually need to hold power to them for a few seconds before it'll turn on. Now, it's beeping because this is set up for a lithium ion battery pack which means it's worried that those cells are below two volts. So let's get into the BMS and see if we can't reconfigure it. So now we can change up all of our settings. So charge over voltage, let's go for like 2.8 volts. Under voltage, let's go with 1.8. That's the, the tightest battery I've seen so far. They're all within 0 0.003 volts of each other. <laughs> Pretty fantastic. So my battery voltage is at 25.1 and this BMS is now all hooked up and ready to roll. And that brings us to the end of adding a BMS to this Toshiba battery. Got this from batteryhookup.com. I'll leave a link down below. They often don't have this in stock. I just happened to see it and was able to grab one. Um, it is pretty heavy for a 1.1 kilowatt hour battery, but it's in a nice little plastic case. It's got the cover that you can put back on once you have all your BMS leads and even stick them out the front so that everything fits together. Um, and the, the nice terminals, like it's a, it's a it, very nice battery once it's all done. Um, the Ant BMS was about a hundred bucks on um, AliExpress. I'll throw a link for that down below. And if you're interested in what I'm gonna do with this battery, go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that when I release this next video of powering some equipment off of this battery and solar, you'll see what I'm up to. Till next time, be an energy.